Oh man, what a journey we are going to go on today. Hello everyone, how you doing? It is me Lasty here, welcome today to a brand new episode of The Road to Glory here on FIFA 23. Um, yeah, today is all about getting the weekend league done and dusted and rewards and all of that good stuff. So if you do enjoy, uh, right from the start of this episode, if you're enjoying your bank holiday Monday as well, and you're feeling happy and kind, do me a small favor and smash the thumbs up button. I'd absolutely love to see one to 2,000 likes and subscribe as well. Why not if you're new around here? Um, so, <laughs> current team is this. Will it end as this team? Uh, we shall see. Um, but at the moment, I would say I have a couple of weak links in the squad. One of them being ASM. Probably the weakest link in the squad, actually, is ASM. And then maybe Gabri Vega, depending on which formation we're playing. Uh, he's better as that centre mid in the 4-3-2-1 rather than a, a cam in a 4 triple 2 um, So, yeah. We're going to start with 18 games remaining at 2-0. and Good stuff. Uh, I'm going to actually go into foot champs today rather than like what I did at the end of yesterday's episode, which was going to what I thought was my third game of champs. This was actually a game of rivals. Um, so, yeah, that was stupid of me. But 18 games to go. I'm not going to show you every single one of them today, I don't think. Uh, I think I've cut out some of the losses. You'll see how things are going as as we go along and as, the, as I'm chatting my way through it. But uh, it's actually a really, like, quite a solid start to the weekend league for me. Uh, we're 2-1 up here. He makes it 2 all. Good header. Uh, that Lucio is still perfectly viable, isn't he? Um, like, you still struggle against him. I come up against him all the time. That one and the Trophy Titans, Lucio. Um, very, very, very good centre-back on this game. So I'm 3-2 down at half-time, thinking, am I going to get back into this one? So I probably switched up my formation. Um, literally, just I would have switched. If I started 4 triple 2 I'd move over to 4-3-2-1 uh, and vice versa, depending on what I was playing. Uh, but yeah, really nice couple of, like as you can see on the clock there, 50 minutes is when I'd gone ahead and scored two goals in the second half. Um, so that was really quick fire coming out of... Uh, Coming out of the blocks, absolutely flying in the second half. Um, and then as we got towards the end of the game, I managed to get another goal to make it, what, 6-3? So switch into the 4-3-2-1 there. Probably worked quite well in my favour. Uh, and I think he also changed formation as well. That might have been a downer on here. It might, he might have, it might have been like one of the things where we were this at half-time and then he changed his formation and didn't play it so well. And I changed my, my formation and it and rose to it. So uh, one of those situations, you know. Into the next game. We go. 1-0 down. All right. Fair enough. 1-0 down at half time. Losing by a goal. Just like we were in the last game. Let's see what we can do in the second half then. Well, we can give a penalty away straight away. <laughs> Less than 10 minutes played in the second half. Didn't quite come out as, as strong as I did in, in the second half of the last game. But I saved the penalty with my save, my penalty save technique. Uh, and then we run down the other end 8 or 10 minutes later and score a goal with Lewandowski. Um, lovely stuff. Jarzinho with a beautiful ball through, to be fair. That was absolutely perfectly weighted for Lewandowski. It needed to be in order for it to actually work out in my favour. Um, and then, as you can see here, a little bit of a little bit of a kerfuffle, confusion from my opponent's keeper and defenders and my striker. We managed to get the goal to sort of seal the victory. And then this one, he sort of stops playing right at the end. Uh, we can make it 4-1 with, uh, with our super sub, um, the Canadian beast that is Fonzie. But yeah, I'd, I'd had a lot of shots in that game. 19 shots in that one. So uh, we, we were peppering the goal, that's for sure. 4-0. and oh. And I'm like, damn, what a start from me? Uh, I don't do that very often. We go on into the next one. And I'm like, oh, what are you doing? You are With, with those little skill passes, you're definitely going to kick it out of, of play and quit at nil-nil. But no... Jack was a nice guy and quit at 1-0 when he scored the own goal. So 5-0. Possibly nosebleed territory because I, I actually don't know. The, nowadays, is it all based on form or is it sort of just random or what? I can't really tell. Um, it, maybe it's based on form, but then also around the people that are in your 
like in the vicinity of you on the same server or who knows what it is but going 5 and 0 is great and all that but it's probably not going to be the best for my uh for my next stage of the weekend league um we're 2-0 down in this one uh, and Leroy Sané scores a free kick as well. I had moved the goalkeeper. I'd put a player on the line. You just can't stop some free kicks. It's kind of crazy. I wish I knew how to take them because they're like guaranteed goals from that from that situation. And I miss basically every single time. Uh, this guy was toying with me. I stayed till the 67th minute. I tried changing up the formation and stuff. Did not work. We'll quit that one and move on. So we finally lost the game. We're 5-1. and one. Time for uh, 6 p.m. content to come around, do, do myself a daily login. Uh, I don't think we get... Well, actually, when do we next get a daily login reward? I'm going to go ahead and check it on my console right now. Uh, objectives. Milestones. Daily login. Oh, I'm 9 out of 10. So we get uh, 8 League on players tonight. Well, as I'm recording this, so you probably already had it. Um, but yeah, looking forward to that. Hopefully there'll be a blue in there because... Wow. Well, Probably won't be, will there? <laughs> the the league on blues uh, appear to be really, really difficult to pack. Uh, the good ones are quite expensive, and then there's quite a drop off. Though actually, there is some mid range tots this week in uh, in the likes of um, what what would you class as mid range? Anything from a couple hundred to seven hundred k, or is that if so, the likes of Verratti and Marquinhos and all of those sorts of players are are there. Um, and Jonathan David and Ben Yedder are a little bit higher than that, of course. But then you've got some players that are really, really cheap. Your, your Andre, your uh, Tadebo, um, who else is there that everyone seems to get? Samba, uh, those ones that everyone's getting in the in the reds that <laughs> that we've seen. Uh, hopefully that's not going to be me today. Um, but this guy, by the way, I've never played anyone like it because. Did you notice that he was playing Buchanan at centre back there and Frimpong? Buchanan's a right mid and has a—I don't even know—it's one of them purple cards that you got for doing like some SB, some some objective or something. Like way, way back, he just brought on loads of really, really pacey, really, really agile players like Moses Simon and Buchanan and that sort of stuff, and beat me, and I couldn't get the ball off him. Buchanan at centre back—that's a new one on me. Um, and I'm not going to lie, that one kind of sent me over the edge a little bit in terms of I'd lost my head at this point. Uh, because the, the first five games, I mean, obviously we got that free win. But the, the other games seemed to be a little bit like sweaty and competitive. So it was quite a... It was quite a, a, a war out there on, on, the, on the old FIFA pitch. And then this game, I lose it 4-0. But I had 17 shots... 4.4 xg like <sighs> i could still blame it on me for missing some stuff but i was just so deflated and so annoyed i was in a world of pain at this point because i when i was five and i was like cool if i have a bad run from here maybe i'll go seven and three in my first ten um you know if things go really well maybe i'll get eight and two and that leaves the second half of the weekend league so much easier but um yeah Full-on capitulation, full-on bottle jobbery is what we're what we're about to witness uh, as I lose again. 3-0 down, Red Valverde this time, 27 minutes, let, let three goals in. Uh, so where am I at? I think at this moment in time, I'm 5-5, five and five, which I literally lost five games in a row. Uh, not proud of it. But, hey, if I can big up myself for going five wins in a row, we absolutely need to uh, take the embarrassment when you then lose five in a row because that is just ridiculous. Uh, like, <laughs> I don't class myself as a great player on this game because I am a little bit older than the most that play it. And, you know, I've never been that great. So as I lose my reactions in my old age uh, and, and all these little Fortnite kids are really good at FIFA... Um, but I still kind of hold my own, you know. I think getting 11 wins in the weekend league most times puts you in like probably, I don't know, the top 10% of weekend league players or something, like just based on how many people play it and how many people can't actually get qualified and all of that sort of thing, would you say? Anyway, but 
yeah, I'm clearly, clearly absolutely trash right now because, uh, oh, by the way, this happened. I paused the game. Um, I randomly needed to change my batteries in my controller during, the, I guess, the start of this game. Um, and then when I paused it later on, like I got it done in game and, 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 and the controller worked and everything. But then when I paused it to change my formation to try something new, the game just completely froze. And I was like, cool. <laughs> so we basically got booted from the game uh, and took the loss, of course, uh, without uh, without even having a chance to play on and get back into it. But let's face it, we were 2-0 down already. Probably going to end up losing. So with the absolute capitulation, we have decided to switch it up again. Um, I've gone and brought a Verratti. Normally, normally people like rage sell their players. I went out and rage bought someone. <laughs> I was just like, something's got to change here. Uh, I need to get rid of Gabri Vega. I need to get rid of uh, of ASM. And so we've brought in like Kylian Mbappe. We've brought in uh, Sergio Ramos. We've brought in uh, Verratti. And we'll play a couple players off cam. I don't really care so much about that. Like three players on two cam doesn't matter to me. Um, but I think the team looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll see what it can do, right? And Donald Rummer's back in there because he was someone, uh, he's a bit of a club legend, isn't he? Someone that I kind of trusted um, to save me a few times. Is he still good enough at this stage of the game? Well, we'll find out, won't we? Um, but I think this is probably the point where I start showing you some of the games, probably just the, like some of the wins. Maybe I'll show you another loss or two. But there were a bunch of losses in between all of this. Um, it, it, honestly, it was it was so bad. I, I should not have carried on playing. Uh, I'll be honest, like my it, my FIFA headspace was just broken. I was so, so in such a foul mood. Uh, it was unreal. Um, yeah, league on tots. Apparently, that was kind of the breaking point for me. Um, you're probably, when you when you look back a few weeks and you're like, ah, oh, Prem Tots, that's going to be the sweatiest one. Everyone loves Prem Tots. What you forget is that week on week after that, everyone has loads of crazy Tots in their squad. And the game at this stage of the year goes from what could have been argued as like fairly good and like tactical for the last three months to every single player is cracked out of their minds, 99 stamina, everyone's running around. There must be some sort of new high pressure technique because everyone's like chasing me down like it's like they're on constant pressure or something, but players just don't get tired. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really struggling to adapt. I, I seem to remember absolutely hating the gameplay at this stage of the year, every year. So it's, it's sort of on par. With, with where I'm at normally at this stage of, the, of FIFA. I actually went back and watched the last couple of years worth of Road to Glories around this stage. And it's this, a similar sort of thing of like um, completing the weekend league and then just quickly ripping open my rewards, not switching the camera on, just doing it. Because no matter what, my reaction is going to be awful because I actually am in such foul mood. I can't believe we let this game get to us so bad. Well... That's me generalizing that you guys let yourself get like that as well. For myself, I get I let this game stress me out. And it's not good. It's, it's really not good. But anyway, we uh we beat this guy 5-1. He had low he had like Hullet, Ronaldinho, Cruyff, all sorts. I don't know if any of them were loans, but he had a prime Cruyff that was his own. Uh, and we got to this situation right here. Ten and nine. Last game to go if I want to get eleven wins. Come up against a, a tidy squad, to be honest. Terrible goalkeeper movement by, by me, but actually really good composure by my opponent. And I'm 1-0 down. He then gets through again. Kane don't miss from there, does he? No matter where my keeper is. Uh, and then I get someone sent off. I thought that was going to be a perfect challenge. Turns out Mane is just that much quicker. And I quit. Because I got a red card and I'm already 2-0 down. How's, that's not going to go my way, is it? Rank six, a.k.a. the 11-win bottler. Oh, I was in such a foul mood. Uh, I hate to say it, but yeah, it really got to me. Um, and we've been here before where we've just about missed out on 11 wins, but we've also had weeks where we've got like 14, so I don't know. But I get a Tots Todibo from the one player pick that I get, and then the red player pick, I end up getting a 95 Marquinhos. And after all of the reds that I've seen this week, 
I was I watched Harry ha Harry Hesketh uh, stream twenty and oh twice and get nothing but like the Andre to Debo that sort of thing popping up in his in his reds. I, I've seen countless videos of people getting terrible reds from high ranks and stuff, and I get nine wins, get one player pick, and a friggin' five hundred k ninety five rated Marquinhos pops out. I'm like surprised and really happy with it, but at the same time I'm just like. I don't deserve that. I just bottled this weekend league. How how is it giving me that? But um, yeah. So obviously we'll take it. Oh, by the way, these these tradable packs that you get at the end of foot champs are absolutely immune to getting a blue. I don't I don't know if anyone's got one because I don't know if they exist in these packs. It's ridiculous. Um, but it used to be a you used to get a fifty k pack or a hundred k pack and think, oh, I might pack a blue. It's tots. No, not anymore. You need to be opening a 500k pack from the store and then maybe, just maybe, you'll get a blue. Um, <laughs> oh, I miss player picks in general. Please give us player picks tonight alongside the premium league on packs or whatever. I just I just want player picks. Uh, I enjoy them so much more. So we let go of Verratti. He didn't seem that great to me, to be honest. Maybe he's just a, a, a little bit too small. Um it had gone up a bit since I bought him. I think I got a cheap one when I bought him, actually. He's dropped down a bit now, so I'm glad I sold him. Yeah, we take a little loss after tax, but uh, we're still sitting over 500,000 coins, so I guess uh, that's that's all, all right. Um, we now need to figure out what to do with the team. Marquinhos is going to make his way in. Do we swap Laporte out for Ramos? Do we need to go and get Kimpembe? I feel like I don't need Kimpembe with all of the, the crazy players that we've got in that centre-back role. But I don't want it to be another um, Araujo moment where I don't do the SBC because I think I'm covered. And then in like two weeks' time, I'm like, damn it, I wish I got Kimpembe. So I'm probably going to shove all of my um, my fodder into it. Probably. I don't know. I mean, Kimpembe is probably better than Ramos, right, at this stage. Oh, I love Ramos, though. Anyway, Marquinhos is in the club. <laughs> cool uh sorry for the slight downer on the video today but uh it's ended off with a good red pick so at least i can be happy with that i hope your weekend league went better than mine um i hope you got some good rewards and i hope you continue to get some good rewards throughout the week thanks for watching do me a favor and make me feel a touch better by hitting me with a thumbs up that'd be brilliant thank you one to two thousand likes would be awesome subscribe as well to the channel if you're new cheers and follow me on social media the links are down below have a good one, everyone. Take it easy, stay safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Peace.